Hello my fellow fanatics and welcome to another anime review. Today we take a look at the 2010 supernatural sci-fi anime Occult Academy, directed by Tomohiko Ito and produced by A1 Pictures. The anime follows Maya, daughter of the former headmaster of the Waldstein Academy, which is the center of uh, supernatural and paranormal occurrences. She becomes the headmaster intent to destroy the academy because she hates the occult, but during her first few days, she meets Uchida Fumiyaki, a time traveler from the future who was sent to the past to stop the oncoming apocalypse. Uh, the anime is a mixed bag for me. In paper, this should be an anime I should enjoy since it has uh, paranormal and sci-fi elements mixed in it, but I guess um, the execution was not that great for me. The presentation was decent, voice acting okay, music okay, animation was okay, but it got better near the end. The story has interesting elements, but like I said, the execution was not that good. I think this anime would have done better as a movie or an OAV, not a 13 episode anime. The ending arc was good, but I thought it was predictable. The first 10 episodes were kinda boring monster of the week type stories. It did tie into the ending arc though, but I felt it was uh, weak. They tried some character developments, but it felt bland. The male protagonist was boring. The females had more interesting character developments, but I didn't gravitate towards anyone in particular. To me, this anime was just plain. There was no spices in between to draw me in, which was too bad since I think this anime was part of a project in which a group of people were going to create animes that wasn't based from a manga. I thought that was an interesting endeavor, and while this offering was not bad, it wasn't good either. Uh, watch this if you're having one of those slow rainy Sunday afternoons, but if you have something better to do, then you probably shouldn't watch this. Thanks for watching and hope to see you soon again.